salmon can get a little messy. And so I, I hate to have stuff on my hands. So if you want to try gloves, it's probably a little bit better that way. And so this rinse out bowl. And so we take a can of salmon, pink salmon like so. And then we're going to drain the juice off of it. So take the juice off. Now salmon in the can has like uh, bones in it. They're like little bitty bones. So you just take it like so. And if you break it up right, it'll be fairly easy to get the bones out. And so you just kind of break it up into pieces. And as you can see, if you come a little closer, um, you can kind of see the teeth. And so that would be this part right here that I'm showing you. And, you know, we'll just take it out just like that. And so those are the teeth that come out of the sound. And so you want to get all the teeth out first. And you just kind of crumble it like this here in your hands. Get it all crumbled up really good and so forth. And so for every can, we're going to add one egg. So. remember um, this is how you know it was made in our household and so you just put maybe you know according to how many cans you're using if you're using more cans then you add more green pepper and onion and it's an egg for every can that you use and so we get them in there like so and then we take a little bit of Sorry guys, that's probably a customer trying to call for some of this great food. But anyway, take a little black pepper, season salt, and um, and we just put like maybe a uh, two thirds. A seasoning we're adding. We just add it around in here. A little black pepper. And then we'll add a seasoning salt. So while we're doing that, we're gonna put the oil on the stove over here. And let that heat up. You should do this over a medium heat. Let's see the line. it in like so. Get it all in there really good. And so then you can, you know, take maybe, maybe three-fourths, all according to how big you want your patties to be. So if you like them really big, I would say three-fourths is a good size and then you just kind of make a ball with it and so we'll, we're still waiting for the grease to heat up because it has to be hot um, you know before you can put this in the oil and so while we're doing that we have our cornmeal here which is our coating and so uh, yeah 
We're gonna make up about three balls here. And so, you know, a nice little size handful while we're waiting on our oil to heat up. And so, while that is doing that, we can come over here and just kind of stir the potatoes. So you can always test your uh, oil by, you know, just taking a little bit like this and testing the flat, testing the oil. And so if it bubbles up a little bit, you know, that means that it's almost hot where you can put it in there. I don't know if you can see this. But. Can you turn off the fan? They can't hear. Can you turn off the uh -huh. Oh, sure. Is that better? So yeah, the oil probably takes about maybe 10 minutes to heat up. It shouldn't take too long. All depends on how much oil you have. The more you have, the more it will take to heat it up. So, so that looks like it's, it's ready. And so we're going to take our, our balls here, our salmon patties balls and we're going to just kind of reform them and so what I like to do is get them in there and get it coated really good and sometimes you know it can break up on you a little bit but that's okay you know don't let that discourage you and you just kind of you know recoat them so you get them nice and coated and so yeah so you kind of just pat them out in your hands and you know make sure that they're really coated really good with the cornmeal and so we'll take this one and we'll bring it over here i don't know if you see it and we'll put this one in the oil and so uh, yeah and then we'll repeat we'll repeat the same thing that we just done and coat this one really good, but you want to get them, get them in the oil really quickly because you'll have them, you know, one will be cooking faster than the other. So try to get them in there fairly quickly, get them patted out really good, coated really good. And uh, yeah, this is really good with smothered potatoes and corn, or you can put um, sweet peas with it you know whatever vegetable that you like or you can do macaroni and cheese and sweet peas it just all depends on you know what your taste buds is like and so we'll get this one over here in the grease and let that cook for a second there i'm gonna rinse my hands off here Spatula, one seven nine. Okay. Spray Thank you. And so for the potatoes, I always try to use Yukon Gold um, because they don't take nearly as long to cook. And so, you know, they have a few. Uh, a few uh, varieties of Yukon go. And so, yeah, these are the smaller ones, which cooks really good, and they don't take long at all. And so, for the smothered potatoes, what I like to do is cut them up like medium-sized potatoes, and uh, you know, you wanna rinse those off really good once you cut them up. And then, you know, drain the water off, of course. Um, and so what I like to do is take a little sea salt, black pepper, and accent, and I'll get them in a bowl and I'll just rub that around on the potatoes. And so after that, we add maybe three-fourths stick of margarine to a stick. All depends on, you know, how buttery you like your potatoes. If you don't like a lot of butter, you can put less butter. And so, yeah, we get those on the stove. Is there any kind of way that we can get over here and see so I can show them? And so, yeah. And so, 
you know, we get them on the stove and we turn them on like a, a medium low heat. sugar in and so you just cook this for about 20 minutes and you know you're good to go sweet sweet corn it comes out really good and you add it to the meal and so yeah the salmon is all ready, almost ready to come out paper towels here to drain the grease. So we come over here and kind of just kind of flip them, you know, into your desired uh, brownness that you like. I actually like mine to be a little light brown and dark. Those are beautiful salmon patties. How about it, guys? And so, yeah, it doesn't take much for this meal. You know, it's under probably about a good 30 minutes or so. And so, yeah, it's a really easy meal to make, you know, that you can enjoy with friends and family. And um, it's very tasty. So, you know, as I said before, um, this has been a staple in African-American households for ages. And so this dish is actually a French dish. Salmon croquettes was, uh, you know, made by the French first, um, as I do my research on that. And so uh, we've been using them as early as I can remember uh, as a little girl. And so, yeah, you know, this is a, a good meal to make. Did anybody have any questions? Yeah, so, yeah, and, and with the sweet corn, you know, we'll get this all plated up here. Um, one second. And so, yeah, this meal is, you know, it doesn't take long at all to fix. So we'll get some potatoes on here.
is a fantastic meal right in under 30 minutes. And so um, a little bit about soul food. Um, you know, as I stated before, um, you know, soul food is very important, you know. It speaks to all cultures. Um, you know, soul food is uh, actually, you know, has been used to really just show love and bond with your families and, you know, just come together over a good meal and just, you know, have conversations. Sometimes they may be pleasant, fun, or they may be difficult, but all in all, you know, you can sit down and have this meal and it's a fabulous meal and you can sit down and just have good conversations and, you know, bond with your friends and family and, you know, doesn't take long at all. Wonderful dish. So, did anybody have any questions? I'd like to see the food if you want to hold it up. Uh-huh, sure. What time is it? Uh, 7.25. Okay, so we still got like 30 minutes. Did you want to have a taste? Should we invite Jimmy over to, to have a taste or? Sure, come on over and, and, and let's see how, you know, what your, what your taste was is like here. You know, what you think of it, so. Yeah. Go ahead, give us a taste test, Jimmy. <laughs> That didn't take long at all. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's your bag of apples. That's delicious. Oh, wow. <laughs> Have you ever had salmon croquettes? Salmon croquettes? This is delicious. Wow. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. So, is there any questions? Did you guys have any questions tonight? dishes and soul food would be red beans and rice and so I like to make it with turkey um, you can make it with any kind of meat that you like um, and you know people are more familiar with uh, the red beans and rice and the greens so I wanted to do a little something different today that was a part of soul food um, just so people could know how easy this dish really is to make at home and it's southern of course and it's comfort food so yeah red beans and rice with smoked turkey is one of my favorite dishes for soul food so did you have any other questions by chance Oh, soul food to me is a whole culture. Um, it's what we eat, it's what we, it's, it's a whole essence to me. So, you know, usually when I'm in the kitchen cooking, especially in my home kitchen, you know, cooking is supposed to be fun. So, you know, we kind of vibe out a little bit, we get a little music going, you know, jam a little bit, you know, while we cooking and, you know, um, it means everything, you know, so. I really like when I make soul food dishes or I'm able to share that with family and friends and you know we kind of just sit around the table and you know have fun conversations and 
listen to a little music and kind of vibe out and you know that's what we do so uh-huh someone would like to know what's the difference to say some people do it that way especially in the south um, I certainly had a couple of friends that you know mixed it with the seasoning I think if you do that what I find is that it breaks up a little more so I, I like to do it my way and just get it like you know more in a ball and then coat it um, I find that if you get the cornmeal and the seasoning and that it makes it a little bit more crumblier so it may be harder to keep together in the pan, you know, when frying. So that would be the difference I would have to say. Well, it kind of came naturally as a little girl watching my grandmother in the kitchen. Um, she's looking down on us right now, and this moment is fantastic because we always talked about starting a restaurant. And, you know, I'm very proud that I was able to do that. So I have to give her and God all the praise because without my grandmother, we wouldn't be standing right here right now. And speaking of my grandmother, I have a picture right here. And so I'm gonna just pick this up so we can uh, get a glimpse of her. This is Miss Annie Mae Booker. And so I have a couple of my older aunties on here. Uh, Miss Roberta, Miss uh, Marie, and uh, this is my granddad. Percy Sims and this is my aunt Josephine and Auntie Roberta so yeah and this is Miss Annie Mae this is my grandmother right here front and center so without her um, none of this could have been possible and so as a little girl I used to watch her in the kitchen all the time and she would go girl get out of here you know kids in the kitchen running around and so I was just persistent because I was really wanting to know what is this woman putting in this food that's so good? And so she would try to run me out of the kitchen and I'll be right back in there. So when she when she knew that I really liked watching her, she stopped telling me to leave the kitchen. So I was able to stand there and learn all of her recipes, which paid off, because here I am. Any other questions, guys? You know, we used to have a lot of, you know, good family meals around, uh, you know, holiday time. And, you know, my grandmother had a long table. And so our table was so long that it had a leaf inside of it. And so, mind you, we come from a really big family. My grandmother had like 15 kids. And so I think back in those days, I don't know if I would be able to do that, but I find back in those days, um, you know, women had a lot of kids back then, so, you know, you find that the families was bigger, you know, and uh, certainly took more to feed, you know, more people as well, but yeah, um, it was definitely uh, an experience I could never forget just by watching her cook. And with that being said, people used to come to, you know, our door and they would smell the food, and so they would knock on the door and ask her, you know, Miss Booker, can I get a plate? Can I please have a plate of that food? Because they knew that my grandmother knew how to cook really good. And so, yeah, you know, that was uh, really fun watching that happen. So I was very intrigued by that coming up as a, as a young girl. And uh, I really had a passion, learned a passion, and really wanted to cook. So it actually came naturally to me, you know, watching her in the kitchen. So. share some announcements uh, we will have uh, cooking for a cause right now the dates are to be determined and this will fall up under smash time and so we're doing this because it's going to be a way for us to give back to the community 
and so um yeah we will post the uh, dates on our smash time facebook page so look out for that guys and we have a couple of more upcoming events um we will be doing something with the uh, Cooley Region Cooks March 3rd. Um, and I think that's going to be at 10 a.m. in the morning. And so I think I have everything posted on the page as far as the radio station if you want to listen in. I'm not sure if we'll be live yet, but we will be there March 3rd. Um, and then also there will be a ceremony coming up with the... Uh, black leadership that I you know they'll be honoring me which I'm very proud of and I work really hard so um, yeah you know I'm looking forward to these things and we have a, a lot of events coming up here in the spring so stay tuned guys and I'll do my best to keep you guys informed so you all can be a part of that yes okay so yeah with that being said you know I feel like soul food, you know, is very important for all cultures. Um, it speaks to all cultures. It's, it's definitely diverse and, you know, it's just a good feeling, you know. I've never had a person that had soul food that didn't have that warm, loving feeling. So, soul food, you know, kind of bands us all together. And so, I'm very proud to be serving soul food here in La Crosse. Uh, we started our business November 1st. I'm proud to say that uh, we had our grand opening November 5th, and so we sold out, you know, and we sell out a lot around here. So, you know, I really take my time and I put up my all into the food that I serve here at Smash Time, and it's always a pleasure, you know, to serve you guys and, and to be of service, even though cooking food, you know, takes a lot of physical work and you have to get rest with it, but um, yeah, every time I'm in the kitchen, I do it with love, and so I love to serve, and so that's what I'm here for. So I like to think of Smash Time as the people's restaurant. So, you know, you guys, without you guys, Smash Time couldn't be possible. So this is something that we want to keep going, you know, keeping, keeping it going in the future, you know, for bigger and better projects to come, I must say. So it was a pleasure tonight, you know, being able to teach you guys you know a little bit about salmon croquettes and some other potatoes and sweet corn and um, I, I, I hope that you guys would you know definitely try this dish with your families and friends and you know give me some feedback on the page and let me know how it came out or if you do a video hey feel free to upload a video on our smash time page I would love to look at it and you know laugh along with you guys and make sure when you're cooking in the kitchen that you are vibing and having a great time because cooking is supposed to be fun. Always remember that. Absolutely. It will be my pleasure. I'll post it up. Um, I, I think, do you guys have it posted on the library page yet? Or? Okay, yeah, we'll be adding it to the public library page. And um, also, you know, you guys can shoot me an email, feel free. You know, and I can shoot it through email or text message, however you would like, you know, and uh, yeah, my pleasure. We're going to say good night now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, cooking class with us, and I most certainly did, so. You know, stay tuned for future uh, announcement and, and events coming up from Smash Time. And uh, it was a pleasure, you know, sharing this with you guys tonight. Have a good night, guys. Bye now. How did it come out? I think it was great. <laughs> you think so? Yeah.